Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Deus Ex. We're done being an amateur plumber, for now at least. And now we're in the mole people's tunnels. Taking the fight to the NSF. We seem to have taken over the mole people's tunnels. Really, we're doing a public service here. Ah, right. Forgot about that little thing. The, the classic. Oh, you can't, you can't uh, loot the body, therefore you can't actually pick it up. Aggravating. Oh, hi. I guess we're really taking the sneak to the NSF. Might not actually fight any of them. Security. Especially Good. considering how unperceptive these guys are. Installed. Really think you'll make it this far? <laughs> Paul said not to take any chances. Paul. Well, I guess he would know. Paul said that you say. Well, Paul is hardly an uncommon name, to be fair. And perhaps, if it is the Paul I'm thinking of, he said that under interrogation. <laughs> or, pra or perhaps as a threat, like, yeah, if you my brother's coming after you, don't take any fucking chances. He will wreck your shit. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Let me sneak by them like this. Maybe if I... Wait. There we go. I think I see a pattern emerging here. Because when, when I distracted those people earlier with the trank dart and then knocked them out one after another, the second person noticed. But not here. Which leads me to believe that if they're distracted by something close enough that they just need to turn around to look at it, then they won't notice. No, I heard but so. if they are. But if they have to run over to look at it, like the people earlier did, maybe they will notice? person getting knocked out next to them? I don't know. Maybe I'm jumping at nothing. I'll have to test that. Well, that's the dart trick for you. 60% of the time, it works every time. So, booby traps, you say? Hee <laughs> hee. Ah. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. And I can't actually hold any more lamb. Damn it. Where even are my lambs? I can't fucking find them in this mess of an inventory. Oh, there they are. Right there. Very easily to find. Very easy to find. What was I think? thinking? Ah, an amp grenade. Flares. What the fuck is the point of flares? What do they do? Neat. I don't know why I got skill points for that, but alright. Okay, we're gonna need to find this key. We're gonna need to go through there to do it. Are these guys hostile? That's. Oh, hi. Don't think those guys are hostile. But I'm not not sure how they'll react if I knock the guy out. Let's just schmooze right on through. 
Oh, hi. Oh, ow. Looks like you've been overrun by NSF. They move supplies through here. There's nothing we can do about it. Anything recently? A bunch of barrels came through about an hour ago. Woke us all up. Where were they headed? They went through the bathroom like they always do. Only way to get a key is from the NSF commander. The guy lives to the south. But I bet he'd die first. I can arrange that. Some of the terrorists actually live down here. It's a secret room. You open the door by pushing a brick they keep hidden behind some cardboard boxes. I'll have a talk with him. You won't have to worry about the NSF for much longer. Alright. Big guy. That's him. He's well a cop. Said. All right then. Sounds like they're like I said. Like I'm doing a public service by taking down these NSF guys. The guys have taught me to sound like they were allied with the NSF, but I bet they would want it to sound like that, so they would, so they wouldn't seem. So easily overrun. I know I heard something. Ooh. Hemp Gren. Eh. Uh. I. Terrible hiding place. Oh well. Hi. Ding place. Hmm, if I drop down here, he might fear me. Drop down. Hopefully I'm secured enough. Oh, oh, damn it. Okay. Guy in there. That wall is wait, it's freaking Swiss cheese, it'd never hide me. But if I Shit! Who's there? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Ooh. Easy peasy. The old shrink dart to the wall trick. Never fails when it succeeds, and it always succeeds when it doesn't fail. Like we're all here. Am I injured at all? No. No point checking these sodas then. I'll leave them to the mole people. Why not? <laughs> ah, I love the speed augment. And not even for the, mostly for the speed. Will they see me? I'm not quite certain. That's a no. Okay. <clears throat> God damn, I really need to start using more of these lockpicks and multi tools. I'm just. Oh! Right, I forgot you could actually set stuff like that on fire. Here we go. That's not how I thought it would push, but alright. Oh, hi. I surrender. Oh, I'll tell do me you what you know about the Ambrosia shipment. I'll cooperate. Relax. Key to the men's restroom is on the table. So much for dying restroom. before. 
I'm looking for an airfield. First, you gotta go through the restroom to some tunnels. The airfield's about a mile to the east. They're being really helpful. This better not be a joke. Hey, I'm just an accountant. <laughs> I know the body armor looks threatening, but I'm part time, like a reservist. I don't want any trouble. All right then. Yeah, he'll probably die before he tells you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, here's the key. Oh, the key's right there. Oh, and by the uh, by the way, here's exactly how you get to the place. <laughs> Man. Well, just because they're terrorists doesn't mean they're stupid. I mean, telling me that he could, uh, telling me that he could, uh, that I could pry it from his cold dead hands would just lead to me prying it from his cold dead hands. After all. Oh fire! Oh. I surrender. Okay. Neat. <laughs> Name more than the optic camo. Alright, that went pretty fucking well. Looks like you've been overrun by NSF. They move supplies through here. Anything? A bunch of. Where were they at? They went through some of the terror. It's a. We've met already. He's an accountant or something. I don't think he'll give you any trouble. <laughs> Alright then. Yeah, I should have gone this way first if there were, if all the guys here were gonna surrender. Oh well, I don't know. Hello, you guys are new. You're the spy, huh? Yeah, but don't be shouting that. I know a secret. Yeah. It's about the NSF commander. You know how he gets in his secret room? Yeah. I give up. He does something with the brick behind those cardboard boxes. It's true. I saw it. I believe you. I was just over there myself. There we go, and trap? No. No traps, by the looks of it. Interesting. Whoa, that was a fucking sudden change in ambiance. Okay then. Somewhere by the airfield. Be careful, though. The terrorists probably expect intruders. No shit. Let's see. Lasers. I could probably get over those with this. Plus the speed argument. Let's find out. Yep. Easy peasy. The other one, horrible gas. My favorite kind. Oh, hi. Okay. Um, what? He vanished? What? Oh, oh, wait. Okay. That was a bit confusing. I know I heard so. I just took a turn around the corner for a bit, and when I returned, he was just gone. Uh, that was a bit surreal. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Well, I could probably get over that, uh, over the lasers, but hey, what's this? Oh. Hmm. I was about to say, like, I could probably get over the lasers, and I could also probably get over the platform, but I don't think I could do both. But if I just get over the lasers, I could jump onto that and then jump across. Okay. Or I could just go through the vent. Nah, that's boring. Okay. This should be enough. <gasps> Voila! And that's where the vent comes out to, so yeah, glad I didn't go there. What the fuck? Okay then. 
Oh, there we have it. Hmm, that's where I would have put a mine. <laughs> right behind the door. Ah, cute. But easily stopped by just hugging the right wall. Rather than the wrong wall. Scanning area. Hi. Scanning area. Hmm. Got some imps, got some lambs, got some gep guns. What would happen if I tried to baton it down? Nothing. It doesn't even notice. Wow. Will these do these guys hear me? No, it seems like they can only see. They don't have like audio sensors. They do have a pretty solid patrol route though. I do have those two thermoptic camos, but wait a minute, hang on. Can I use this for cover? Yes! Holy shit! I'm use I use the bots themselves for cover against the bot. That is beautiful. Either that or the bots are just really, really stupid. Scanning area. Young, if you or Decker need to access my account, the login is ETOD and the password is St. Mary. Be careful and I'll find you after this is all over. ETOD and St. Mary, huh? Interesting. You're entering a helibase terminal below a private what? section of LaGuardia. Veer to the east. You should be able to take the elevator to ground level. If you hit trouble, double back across the platform. There's a sewer drain to the northwest which leads to a pond next to the airfield. We think we might know who's moving the shipment. More in a minute. Okay. Oh, hello. This is all very fancy and wide open and guarded by camera. Looks like you're on the right track. That's one of the three missing barrels of Ambrosia. We'll be sending a team to recover it. See if you find the other two. Okay. Um... This is all very stressful. No key, okay. Hmm, another lock. And this place is crawling with those, so it's not like I can bust them open. So, time for me to actually start using my lock picking supplies. Huh? What? You're not sure what that was about? Maybe someone saw the body? What? What the heck is this? Huh? 
What the heck was that? Why was there a sudden music change? Oh, maybe there's someone behind this door that noticed me picking it or something? I don't know. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Oh, hi. Careful. These Unatco guys got all the tricks. Indeed. Including the very most basic and primitive of tricks of whacking you on the in the back with a stick. Oh. Someone down there noticed it. Damn it. Okay, I guess I just can't get through this door then. Well, not sure that particularly helped me anyways. Da! This door too, naturally. I didn't even know what lock picking made a noticeable sound. Oh wow, that's quite a door. Okay, what was the code again? Etod St. Mary. Let's see if this works. Probably, maybe, maybe not. So, how many Ds? God, this place is noisy. Two Ds. Okay. No. Fair enough. Had to try though. Uh, off. Open. Off. Off. Okay. There we go. Shouldn't have to worry about the camera now. Just all of the other things. Aaron. The Ambrosia has been delivered and the first barrel is being offloaded onto the helicopter. The other barrels are heading out by boat and plane, so we can hopefully get at least one sample away for analysis. Wow. They really are nickel and diming us. If you can, rendezvous with us at one of the departure points. Otherwise, you know where to meet if something goes wrong. You've done a lot for the cause and be proud of yourself. Now play it safe and get gone. JL. These guys really are... ...landing smart, aren't they? Hello. Oh, hello. I'm gonna have to room. Hang on. All right, what to use this on? Microfiber muscle would be good because, te uh, because like te uh, level two is basically all you need to be able to pick up base basically anything. Uh. There's like a few like specific types of props, uh, specific types of items that need higher, but you know, you c it's enough to m pick up those big metal boxes, and that's what really matters. So that would be good. Don't think I need to put stuff into environmental resistance, not in this lifetime, but substantially increasing speed and jump height could be good. Could be really good. Potentially, even the falling damage thing could be, thing could be pretty helpful. Hmm. Really though, how often am I, am I going to need to to pick up large metal crates? Like, you know. I mean, it's certainly going to be something I'm going to upgrade, but maybe, maybe it can wait. Yeah, fuck it. All right. <laughs> range. Okay, range. Darts. Pistol. Combat knife. Lamb. Law. Hang on a second.
Oh yeah, give it to this. That could be helpful. There we go. All right then. Ah, God, this is loud. What's through here then? Oh. God damn. This place is so incredibly loud, and yet they can instantly hear me picking a damn lock. Makes sense to me. Don't have to worry about the cameras now, just the humans. Ooh. Ooh. Thank goodness it still counts as hitting them in the back if they're turning towards you at the time. Okay. What's this? Midnight Sun? Won't you come? Black helicopters a concern, says Senator. As sightings of ominous black helicopters become increasingly common across the country, from Manhattan to the so-called shores, many citizens have grown concerned that these gunships are actually a sign that troops may be preparing to mobilize for some unknown action. Certainly this concerns me, Senator Har said Senator Harry Jarvis, D. Texas, a member of the Armed Services C Committee. D. Texas, huh? implies that they separated up Texas, which is something they've actually been thinking about doing basically since so, since the beginning of America. Just, you know, mind that. I intend to bring this up in our next committee meeting and ask some hard questions. UNAC co-director Joseph Manderley was more skeptical. If black helicopters were really being used for covert operations, then those responsible were doing a poor job of it. <laughs> Maybe that's the point. To make it seem less plausible by doing such a poor job of it. Manley went on to say that UNETCO employed no such aircraft and declined to pursue the matter any further, claiming that it detracted from the serious nature of our mission. Joe Green, senior staff writer. Yeah, it's obfuscation. Deliberately playing into the idea of black helicopters and such. To make it seem less plausible. Okay, um... What was it again? E. Todd, St. Mary. Todd is, of course... Uh, Todd, of course, means death. Hence why the guy, Toddbringer, also known as fucking Toddy. Uh, Outsick. Jay Harst. I'm not feeling so well, so I think I'm going to take tomorrow off. But you and I are having a rematch on that pool game when I get back. Very useful information. Killian, sho Killian showed up with this canister they managed to swipe from Liberty, along with the Ambrosia. Handed it off to me, like I'd know what to do with it. I I'll load it onto the plane, but then I need to get down to the dock and see what the hell is going on down there. Juan's not around, so do me a favor and let him know that the suspension crate code for this stuff is 9905. Maybe he'll know what to do with it. Maybe not, but I certainly do. These other monkeys can't remember their birthdays, much less a code. And tell Younger to get his ass in gear. We're not screwing around out here. Decker. <laughs> Daedalus, huh? What's in here, then? NOTHING! ABSOLUTELY NOTHING! STUPID! YOU'RE SO STUPID! There's a helicopter.
Nice. Airfield security room. Damn it, I already lockpicked into that, didn't I? Well. Oh well, it's not a complete loss after all. It did allow me to take out that camo, which would have been a right pain to get across here with, but me would have been nice if I had gone this way first. No, then I still would have had to go across. Camera. Are you coming down here? Darts. Where do I put this guy's body? Oh, oh! Hello! This seems like an incautiously op left open secret passageway. And I've already recovered those lockpicks that I used. Yeah, I really need to use the lockpicks more often. There we go. McCorin slings Chinese ore. EPR, Beijing, China. With the announcement by the Chinese last week that Zhao Enlai Lunar Mining Complex was fully operational, fully armed and operational, today McMorin Global Steel held a press conference to detail the first delivery of lunar ore from the facility to Earth via a mass driver constructed by McMoran. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. The McMoran MD-118 mass driver is the first piece of accelerated stock to be constructed on such a scale, and certainly the first to operate extraterrestrially, said Sean Murphy. The selection of McMoran for this contract by the Chinese government is a major step towards closer economic ties between China and the US. Oh, and that's definitely a good thing. McMoran won the contract in a heated bidding war with Page Industries. Ha! <laughs> Eat shit, Page. That reached its most fevered pitch when Page attempted an unsuccessful hostile takeover of McMoran. Ha! <laughs> nice. Eat shit, Page. Art of War by Sun Tzu. Ah, yes. <laughs> a classic. At 3. Attack by Stratagem. Sun Tzu said, in the practical art of war, the best thing of all is to take the enemy's country whole and intact. To shatter and destroy it is not so good. So, too, it is better to recapture an army entire than to destroy it. To capture a regiment, a detachment, or a company entire than to destroy them. Hence, to fight and conquer in all your battles is not supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. <laughs> Indeed. Well, I've certainly been following that. Almost religiously. I haven't killed a single one of my enemies so far. Which isn't to say I've... And I... Haven't really been fighting either. I've just been... I've not been fighting. I've been winning. <laughs> Seasonal flooding minimal. With an article recently published in the Quarterly Journal of the Royal Meteorological Society. But just remember... As, some, as the art of war was, was said, all warfare is based. And also, whatever you do, don't reveal all your techniques in a YouTube video. You fool. You moron. That's Sun Tzu's most important. Eh. Um, let, uh. That's Sun Tzu's most important lesson. Uh, indicates that worldwide flooding from melting ice caps will be significantly less this year than in previous years due to an unusually cold winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Oh, that's great. Dr. Tammy Bright, a professor of climatology at Oxford University, led the study and noted that global tides should rise by no more than one to two meters on average. Yay. In most major cities throughout North America, Europe, Russia, and East Asia. For comparison, the high water mark in New York last year was 4 meters, requiring millions of credits and additional spending for a network of levees and pumps. While theories concerning the significant increase in days below freezing at either pole abound, 
The practical upshot is that Arctic ice density has grown substantially when compared to any similar period in the last five years. Huh. Interesting. Ah uh, yes, the old climate change stuff. Just one more example of why politics are a blight on the world. Why ideolo ideological capturing is a blight on the world. And I will leave you to interpret what I just said however you wish. I really should be hacking these more often. Oh well. Not that I really need credits at the moment. I might never. Now oh, there. No. Badly. Even if you have a gap gun. <laughs> no. Okay. What am I even doing here, anyways? Okay, the airfield. And all that. Wait, what? Port of Simon Carter, receive your equipment. I must. I forgot to do that. Whoops. I don't think that's a good place to enter that area. Hi. Oh, hi. Where am I even going here? Hello, is this a way in or out? Thank goodness I leveled swimming twice. Well, I could have gotten away with one, probably. But it would have been slower. Huh? Yeah, where the fuck am I? Anything up there? Doesn't look like it. And more spinning. Not anything that would ki that would kill me, certainly, but... Aren't you glad I leveled swimming so I don't have to spend, like, three times as long swimming through these places? And if I even get the speed enhancement... No, the speed enhancement does nothing. Damn. This is the terminal at LaGuardia owned by Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. We're certain, based on what you've discovered, that he's working with terrorists. Your orders are to locate and kill him. We're All sending right. you a map of the airfield. Lebedev, huh? Okay, this must be where I am, then. Military robot, military robot, military robot, elevator barracks, airplane hangar. Alright. Better map than I get, usually get in those B fan missions. Hi. Great. That should make sure you and I won't miss any shots. I've notified the recovery team. One barrel left. Okay. We think this one may actually be a <gasps> Oh, this guy's gonna be an annoyance, isn't he? I could jump up there and take him out, but for some reason it's 
extremely finicky jumping, uh, getting up onto these dark things, which is ridiculous because it's kind of what they're designed for, but alright. I say getting out of the water in general is very finicky unless you. Great. That should make sure you and I won't miss any shots. I've notified the recovery team. One there we go. Left. We think this one may actually be on Lebedev's jet. Okay. Here we go. We've got a beachhead. Now we just gotta hide this body properly. Maybe over here. Yeah. Young, I've got to survey the perimeter. Reports are coming back of someone heading this way through the tunnels. Don't know what their first composition is. One. That's what. But it sounds bad. If, if I'm not back, load up on load up the Ambrosia as soon as the boat arrives and then hit for the hangar. The East Gate is locked, so get the key. I'll meet you, I'll meet you there. Okay. This seems like a good place to stop for the day. Oh, we've made a beachhead, so to speak. So yeah. Something's fucky here. Something's definitely fucky. And I'm not just talking about all that weird shit that was going on with people fucking ages away no uh, noticing the tiny noises of me lockpicking. That was pretty fucky, but that's not what I'm talking about. But we found all but one of the canisters of the, of the vaccine so far. Now, just to infiltrate the main compound and get into the guy's private jet. And maybe figure out what the fuck is going on with Paul. Maybe rescue him. Maybe something else. I don't know. But until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peed. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an SC comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.